I don't think it was a me. Uh, I think we just uh, pick up our game right away and uh, we start playing in their zone. So I don't think I was a big, uh, big key in that moment. I think we just, you know, like it's kind of a cliche, but uh, what what coach meant to do was kind of like uh, fire our fire us up, and that was exactly what happened. Yeah, it was a good hockey game for sure. Uh, two good teams and comes down overtime and comes down a breakaway and um, yeah, it didn't go our way. But I thought, honestly, especially once Nate tied it up there, I thought we just took over and played really well in the um, second half of, of the second period and even throughout really the majority of the third period, I thought we kept them to three quarter ice and kept turning on them quick, getting in on the four check and created Plenty of good looks, uh, you know, a little bit of luck that goes in, but it's the way it is. And uh, I thought we battled hard and, and played well. Hey, you guys talk about this, that coaching usually says that most of these teams just need to try to keep them quiet. Is that the way you look at it? Or is that the other stuff on the team? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you got to trust the coach that he's, you know, Biz has got a pretty good feel for when to do it and when to, you know, in this case, keep keep Kemp's in there and and uh, and give him another shot and keep keep working. But, um, you know, tonight we got Frankie in there and he made some big stops for us. Um, played real well and, and some, you know, most of the time it's not because of, you know, the goalie's playing bad or whatever. It's just to give the team a spark and just basically send a message to the whole group that, okay, let's start over, let's start fresh and, and uh, turn the page and keep moving. So, uh, and that's what we did and, yeah. I didn't see exactly what happened, but you know, obviously they got tangled up. But I think the the refs did a good job. You know, there's a couple in the first, but I thought after that they let us play. I thought it was good. They they left it both ways, and and obviously in that instance, you you know, from our side, we don't like them going after one of our best players. But uh, Kale can, you know, he can hold his own, and and that's what he did. So, but like you said, he's very, you know calm guy and, and doesn't get heated very easily. So Kachuk must have done something to piss him off. <laughs> Yeah, I just told him just keep an eye on it. That was just easy message. And he said, OK, I will. So not that, not that complicated conversation. I mean, they. I know they go to the net hard, but uh, there were some edgy moments. So I just told him, keep an eye on it, please. Two big men going at it. Thought it was a good fight. Um, you know, Dermy's not scared of anybody, and Luchas is one of the toughest guys in the league, or if not the toughest guy over the last decade or so. So. Um, that was a good tilt, got us going, and, and uh, you know, Dermy does his job and fired up the bench, and the guys fed off of that. I haven't talked to him. We'll see if, if I run into him in the hallway after, but, uh, you know, we all love that guy. He was awesome and a big part of this locker room, and, you know, you miss him, but he's playing well in Calgary and he's done well for himself, and, um, yeah. It's when you're out on the ice, there's no friends, but you know, I'm sure we'll we'll see him down the road and catch up with him again. I don't think we needed it, but it sparked us. You know, anytime you can, anytime a tilt happens when you're down a goal or down a couple goals or whatever, then it definitely sends a strong message to the team. But um, but yeah, we didn't need it, you know. Well, first one, we just couldn't, you know, we were all over the puck and there were some good battles along the boards, but we weren't able to kind of settle it down and spread it out with a couple of crisp passes, you know, and that just, it was just jumping around and we couldn't settle it down. Uh, and they cleared it a few times, but after that, we just kind of 
we're sharp around the entry and we're able to make some plays and, and spread them out a little bit and get some good looks. And, you know, some of those scoring chances, Nas in the slot and Miko off the flank, those are ones that normally end up in the back of the net, but tonight it didn't. Uh, good to see Berkey get one on the power play. Um, yeah, he was going with a good speed. I was trying to read, uh, kind of get the flow, but uh, I kind of felt like I, I have it in the spot where I want it, but just couldn't make the stop. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd say a little bit of both. Like, I thought, for, first of all, those goals, all of them, like, we made mistakes on. Like, I thought a couple of those were gifts on, um, based on our five guys on the ice. We handed them a couple of gifts there. They executed and scored on them. Um, I, I, but I, I didn't feel like Darcy was real sharp. Um, so... At that point, we needed a little bit of something, so I'd, I thought maybe go with uh, Frankie. Frankie was really good coming in, too. So, tough call to make. Um, Darcy start, and those certainly weren't on him, but for me, I just felt like we've seen him sharper. And I mean, this is a big game. It's a real good team we're playing, and we needed everyone to be at their best tonight. And, and um, so, yeah, I just made the decision. No, I don't. I wouldn't be happy either if the coach was pulling me out of the net, you know, when, when you're feeling like you're getting your game together. And, and um, I, I don't expect him to be happy about it, and I have no problem with him showing it. I just, you know, that's a call. Sometimes you got to make tough calls as a coach. That was a tough one. And, um, yeah, we're moving on. Yeah, I, I mean, besides the, you know, I, I don't like handing teams easy goals or goals in coverage or when we're there but not there or things that we just go over on a pre-scout that we know they're going to do and they're not they're going to do things repeatedly and then we get burned on them right away. To me, it's just it's focus and, and it's execution on the defensive side of things that, that got me a little bit tonight. Um but final 40 minutes, I liked it a lot. I mean, we were dangerous in the first period, too. Like, I liked what we created. Um, we got better at our checking game through the final 40 minutes. Um, really liked our third a lot. You know, I thought we we created some turnovers and some real good scoring chances. Just couldn't find a way to put them in the net. So it's the way it goes. But there's a lot of things that I take out of that game that I wanted to see. Um one being Kadri, Landeskog, Nachushkin playing against what's currently the top line in the NHL in, in uh, Goudreau, Kachuk, and Lindholm. I thought they did a fabulous job against that line and still created a ton of chances. We played with some physicality, um, got better as the game went on. When you know, I, so uh, that is a is a top team in the league right now, um, and. I liked a lot of the things that we did. I, again, just that sharpness and that focus that we needed right at the start of the game. Like we built the lead twice and we gave it back to them right away. Yeah. Because you, we want to put our offensive guys out with offensive players, especially in offensive zone situations, right? Um, but they also have two really dangerous lines minimum, right? And so if you you can't play Devin Taves and Kale McCarr with McKinnon all night, and especially if they're not playing against Lindholm and Kachuk and, and Goudreau, you just can't do it. So, But it's nice to have one of them on the ice against those guys. That's Again, that's a top line, and they're our top 2D. So... Either I split them from McKinnon the whole game or I split up the pair. You know, that's some of the things that we're playing with here. Um, we have some things that we're going to look at in the second half. Um, Kale McCarr and Devin Taves should be playing against Lindholm's line all night if we're going to just go by the sort of standard 
this is how you play. But our team has a rhythm, and uh, especially the McKinnon line with those guys, and they're real dangerous. So we try to do a little bit of both. Yeah, not his best for sure. Fought the puck, a um, couple of the turnovers. Uh, well, like the one goal they got by was it their second goal? We turned it over twice. Taser went back for it. They were on a line change. They only had one guy in the offensive zone with our two D, and we kind of threw a grenade around the boards, and Kachuk picked it up. Then we got it, checked it back, and went to work and got it and. I like the thought process of what G was doing. He was trying to slip it into the middle, and our forward, I think Miko was, you know, he didn't, like, move into the hole for him and, and, and demand the puck, and Taser was there, and he misses both, and it stays in, and then Comp mm -hmm. is there but not there on the coverage in front of the net. You know, like, that was three mistakes. Sometimes you can survive one mistake or two. That was three. Um especially when you're giving them the puck back with fresh bodies and that line coming on the ice, they'll make you pay. So that's kind of what I was talking about with the sort of focus and execution that, you know, that just, I mean, Hey, we were playing hard. We played hard all night, but, but you know, some of those mistakes, you gotta, you gotta clean them up a little bit, you know? And I, and I, and again, I like the thought process of what we were doing there using the middle of the ice. That was the play on the breakout, but we didn't execute it. it cost us. Uh, yeah, I mean, great fight. Two big boys going at it. Uh, you know, they play with the – they got some big boys and they play a physical game. That's a team built for playoff hockey. Um, and they're all good players as well. So, I mean, having a little size in the lineup and making sure that things don't get out of control physically and yet still pushing back physically on our own, I thought we did a nice job of that. It was a good fight and um, – our guys liked it, and we continued to play pretty well after that. Yeah, I mean, I, it's they're a real good test for our team. It's what I think it's what our team needs. It needs to feel like that was a playoff type hockey game. Every game Calgary plays is a playoff type hockey team because of the all the things I just mentioned, right? Um, so you have to find a way to win games. That's what we're going to face. That's what, I mean, I don't care how you cut it, Minnesota, Nashville, St. Louis, Calgary, Vegas, amongst others, L.A., they're all big body, hard teams to play against. So you got to find a way to win hockey games. you got to find a way to beat them four to seven. Well, he's he's um, it, it's it's huge getting him back. He's so important to our team, especially especially from that checking aspect. And you know, like I said before, we're working on a few things and putting Landy with Naz and, and Val. That was a really good line tonight, a really good line. And Val's a big part of that. And then help create scoring chances, even at the end of the game. Well, I don't know how many minutes were left, but he steals the puck in the offensive zone. He slips it to Kadri in the middle. And that's an opportunity for us to win the game right there if, we're, if we put it away. And hey, their goalie made some big saves, as did ours. Um, yes and no. <laughs> uh, it's a good question. Uh, a lot goes into that decision. Um, yeah, I like to see those guys contribute a little bit more, but I've liked Helm's game here recently for us. He brings a um, brings some things to our lineup that I like. Um, I like the experience. I wanted to have Dermy in the lineup tonight, so that's one. And then I also wanted to see how some of our other guys would play against a team like Calgary. And um, I... I feel like I kind of know what I'm getting out of um, Helmer on a on a nightly basis, and you know we've had talks, and you know some games are better than others, but I I've liked him. We've had some recent conversations, and he's responded real well. So again, that is you know I guess I can't really answer it any more clear than that. It's there's 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 things that I want to see and Joe wants to see from 
some guys in their lineup and see how they'd answer to a team like Calgary. And basically, we went, went with that decision tonight, and I think all of our guys understand it. Um, I, I don't like the way we gave up that. Like, I just felt like we worked so hard, especially for the final 40 minutes. Like, we checked hard. We played hard. We, you know, we were on the attack hard. And then, you know, we just let a guy go in behind us in overtime. And, and you know, they put it away. I just feel like we worked so hard to get to that point and then to sort of forget about our our checking game when it goes to three on three when it's even more important is, is disappointing. But, I mean, a lot of positives to take out of the game and still clearly lots to work on. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.